It's Chillmonger with the Low Key Episode 6 review. Let's talk about Episode 5 first, though, since I didn't do a review on that. I give that one a 7. I do like the 5 minutes of fighting that they did with the Elioth thing. Finally, it got super. I was waiting for that for a long time. This was a whole lot of low TV budget, the first made-for-TV kind of series. Compare this to Mandalorian, and then look at what we got here. Loki was lacking. It's even better than, even more so than WandaVision and Falcon. By the way, I just tweeted out a poll of which show you thought was better. So go ahead and vote on that poll. And then either this weekend or the next weekend, whenever I do the new poll monger videos, we will recap all of the polls I've been tweeting this past month. So we could, I don't know, speak on what we all thought about it. It's very fun. It's a live stream I do. Probably this Sunday. Who knows? Maybe Saturday. Who knows? Maybe even Friday. Maybe even tomorrow. Who Like, really? Who knows? Go vote on my polls. Episode 6 starts, okay? I want to get the Renslayer stuff out the way. This is a woman who's just brainwashed and wants to believe in things. She has quotes in this show, such as, It can't have been for nothing. That's why I had to prune you. She says, um, Only one person gets to have free will, and that's the one in charge. And she's so, like, weird. It's, oh, it's right there. It's fake. Everything in TVA isn't real. But this, she wants to cling on to what's real and hopeful. It reminds me of people who I talked to about COVID-19. And Dr. Fauci is, no, he's the real deal. And all. Uh, I don't know, because there's some stuff that, like, as time passes, you can actually see the things that he said at the time, the emails that came and the information that he had. And he would still say these things that are not true. Or or if he says that's, that's true, then don't also say this, because those two things contradict you. So there's just so many people who want to believe the lie lies plural in the world and they're just convinced to you know stay put on their position that's why people don't switch political parties they always vote for one because the other guy is very wrong true right that party sucks but the party you're a part of sucks also you're just too busy focusing on the reasons why these guys suck they both suck if you're living in canada and and, uh, america both of our main parties suck should never vote for them and expect change because the status quo is moved by those two parties who have always been in charge. Don't expect somebody new to come in and fix things politically. Um, especially people who campaign get paid by the freaking corporations who are your enemy. Wake up. Like, come on. Come on, guys. So that's you. That's Renslayer if you voted for one of those two parties in the last election. Um... I'll keep that in there, but it's crazy how much political talk and just sidetrack me to everyone. Wake up. Get woke. Quote, unquote, woke. I don't use it the racist way. So what's explained from, what was his name? He Beyond Time? What was it? I wrote it down in my notes. At the Citadel. He Who Remains. That man. Jonathan Mayburn's character. Major's character. He's so funny and weird and everything. This is his backstory, which he'll give us. And I believe him. Loki couldn't believe him. Sylvie didn't. Loki did. Okay. Man was born in the 31st century. Nice. He had access to information and tech that allows for him to go from one universe to another universe. Alright, so he's creating those windows from those tempads. He's probably the guy behind it. During the time he's doing this and talking to his other selves, another self comes who's Donald Trump, who's evil. And this evil self creates this multiversal war and there's not just one evil self it's an infinite possibility with all these intimate intimate with the multiverses that are stacked up against each other and that creates the war so that part of miss minutes's explanation was true it gets to here the conversation of free will comes up from sylvie and i'm scratching my head like what are you talking about anymore just because something is written down doesn't mean you didn't have the free will to make that It's like me who would go back in time to, let's say I went to the 2020 NBA slam dunk contest and I wrote down the winner of the slam dunk will be, well, won't be Aaron Gordon. I I got the information, I wrote it down and then I go to 2020 and I, 21 and and I leave that information there and I say, look, it says this. It doesn't mean that Aaron Gordon didn't have the free will to dunk as much as he wanted to and do every decision he wanted to do in that thing. He still had the free will. I just had knowledge of it. So what K, what Kang? What he who remains has is just knowledge of, from the future. It doesn't take away free will. He's not God. He was created in the 31st century. He's, there's no beginning and end and all that stuff. 
the reason why he knows Sylvie is gonna swipe is because he has knowledge. He ha- he has been living through time and has the ability to know what happens next, and therefore he can do that thing. He's just a normal guy, he just with information and the ability to understand time. He sees a life. You want to talk to me about God and the person who's in charge and everything? Whoever created that live thing, which eats time, reality, universes, and branches. And this show has shown me that those are all the four, the same thing. A timeline is the same as a universe as far as a branched reality. They're all the same thing. Those four words are synonyms. Go thumbs up this video because I used the word synonym. And how many YouTubers are you going to watch that use the word synonym? They're all the same thing. And he and he ate Eliath is the one that eats it. The person who created Eliath, that's who. That's the one above all. Talk to me when you guys see that person. Don't tell me, oh God, oh free will. You just don't have an understanding of this show if you believe that still, even though we can. We, he explained all of it. He who remains is a guy who weaponized the life. And he says, we're all villains here. It's funny because I was thinking, oh, who is the villain in this show? And he kind of said that line a minute later. It, okay, the moral dilemma is Sylvie is someone who cannot trust anyone. And Loki is one who cannot be trusted. Good little moral dilemma there. They get to fighting. Was the fighting exceptional? No. And it ended with a kiss. The kiss that... The risque kiss that fans may not like. They even tried something by putting He Who Remains in the background to give us the reaction shot to indicate to us how we're supposed to feel about it. He was sort of like this... Correct me if I'm wrong, but he had something to do which was like, oh, this is so romantic. He had like a little moment. Now, this guy is living and knows everything's going to happen until the threshold, until the time where the access to, you know, knowledge stops and things go buck wild. Why? I don't know. Maybe that was all he can siphon from Elias. Maybe that's all he could muster. But he's at the end of his days. He's ready to die. He, when you live that long and you know that you, you know, I'm sure you're still afraid, but dude was ready to die. The fight with Sylvie. Oh, she only kissed him so she can pickpocket him, get the temp pad and boot him. Loki's somewhere else. Loki's at a TVA where their brains are wa- mind washed. I'll get to that in a second. Stabs dude, leaves him for dead. Is that it? I thought he was supposed to be an Ant Man. Oh, maybe the version we see in Ant Man is another one. It's not he who remains, but you know, remember how all the mul- the the universes were stacked. One from the another universe will be who we get in Ant-Man Quantumania. Cool. That's it. He's done. That's the end of his character arc. At this new TV... Oh, let me get to the Ohio. Renslayer is a teacher from 2018 Ohio. When they went there, I'm like, okay, what's the anomaly here? What's going to be the big um, world-breaking Ragnarok event? There was no Nexus level event. It was just... Boom, you see? You see here? Security officer of the TVA? This is Renslayer. Like, now he's woke. And and she, B116, is like... And him are both outside of the TVA. Okay? That's important to note because everyone in the TVA has been brainwashed and rewired and reset for some reason. It's unexplained in the show why. Which is a good cliffhanger to leave us on. But remember that those two characters, one, that officer, and two, the 116 officer are both woke loki also retains his memory from the previous so those that's what we're looking forward to in season number two it does warrant a season number two but you could have done something more spectacular with this season it's something i told perp minded in his review which i'll link to at the end if i remember to post it at my end screen i don't think this show was awesome I don't think this show was bad either. Its goal was Loki. I mean, uh, I mean the world building, not Loki. Loki was the main character here, and I, he was like someone I didn't care for too much. He's a villain, and I'm not going to relate to a villain, because in my head, I'm a nice guy, and if I could relate to a villain, then that makes me darker. I know, it's weird, but that's the way I think. When I think of this show, I'll remember how they finally explained to us about timelines and stuff and they didn't give us a full explanation and there's always going to be a thousand questions afterwards so they lose points for that they do because this is this show this isn't the film where you got a two-hour window you had six hours roughly less than that they had so much time to explain to me what 
is happening and instead they chose to lie to me a couple times they chose to make a video on a, a whole movie on lamantis a whole episode and they chose to jerk me around and introduce me to a couple new characters i would have just rather had an understanding of the world building stuff i crave these things there is a problem with craving answers to answers because once you'll get to the end of why 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 and the end will always be yeah because god like that's the only way to get to to the back of everything there's a show attack on titan which i'm watching someone told me without spoiling told me we'll get an answer to the way that the titan's origins i was contempt with it as of season three and uh four i was contempt with where they left us off i didn't need another reason to why it's like naruto i didn't need a reason spoilers for naruto shippuden i didn't need a reason for chakra coming from a fruit it was okay everyone there's there's hand signs fine but okay there's sage chakra there's a uh, ninjutsu chakra which came from space from that plant from a fruit all right fine yeah, i mean i was fine with my five natures and the kk genkai and all that stuff all right i'm out here doing hand signals what's that yeah blood huh 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 no jutsu hey thumbs up for that one too um, now I'm gonna go watch that the, the Deadpool thing that just popped up with Korg. I'll do a reaction to that, and a music video reaction, and some more stuff on my Patreon. Mr. Monger, deuces.